All right, guys. Uh, there's ten minutes left in the game, but I'm I'm not even gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna even act like we don't know what's gonna happen here. Uh, Tampa complete no show. Complete no show. Dallas wins going away. They just scored a basically dagger touchdown. There's 10 minutes left, but it's all garbage time at this point. We're familiar with garbage time here in Seattle because we had a bunch of it in our game on Saturday. We know what garbage time looks like, and this is garbage time. So, uh, it's finalized. Obviously, the main impact of this game going Dallas's way is that we now pick number 20. Um, 19 was within range with a Tampa Bay win tonight. Not happening. Not even close. And it was such a decisive win, I don't even think there's really anything to be mad about. So, uh, yeah. Now that we know where we pick for the entire draft, every pick is now nailed in, we can uh, start to really do mock drafts. So in the coming couple of days here, you're going to see my first mock draft of 2023. And uh, there are going to be several iterations of the mock draft. Although I do want to stress here, we are going to need to get through free agency first, and I'm going to do my free agency stuff largely before we get to the draft stuff because it comes first. But um, yeah, we now know exactly where we pick. And, you know, I would have liked to have picked one spot higher at, with our native picks, but uh, it's not a big deal. And I'll say this, the way the Cowboys played today, they could beat the Niners. So if you were somebody who was really invested in that, then... Okay, I mean, the, at least the Niners are not going to get a free trip to the NFC title game. They're going to at least have to work to earn it. Tampa Bay would have given it away for free if they had found a way to win this game. But Dallas can put pressure on Brock Purdy in a way that we couldn't, in a way that I don't think Tampa Bay could have. They can play defense a, in a much more intimidating and tough fashion that I don't believe the Bucks could have come close to matching. And it could end up being a low-scoring game. So... Uh, thank you to all the people who came out and, uh, had fun with me for this final watch long stream of the season. We didn't get the result that we wanted, but I, I think some people did actually. I think some people actually wanted the Niners to have a tougher road and that was more important than an extra boost to the pick. So, uh, mixed, mixed thoughts for people in the, uh, Seahawks fandom right now, I guess is what I'm trying to say, but, uh, we had fun. It was a fun stream, a lot of, uh, good stuff going on. And I plan on doing it again next year. And of course, I want to reiterate here, just because the watch-along streams are going to end for a while doesn't mean the streaming is going to stop, doesn't mean the videos are going to stop, none of that. So see you guys later on, and go Hawks. The draft is settled.